Check this out. What? 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 <gasps> it's a gimbal. This is the Insta360 Flow, a phone gimbal that I actually really love. Now this video is sponsored by Insta360, but, but, big but, I actually really like this gimbal. And I'm not a big fan of gimbals anymore. I think they're kind of boring, to be honest. And also, phones these days have really good stabilization. The only thing is, is that there is a, a crop in your, in your video to do stabilization in the camera. So it's always best to use a physical gimbal if you wanna use the entire width of the camera on your phone. And what I love about the Insta360 Flow is how small and compact it is. Like, it is a true, phone gimbal. Like if I want to turn off the gimbal, I just got to just fold. It turns off automatically. Take out the phone because there's a magnetic phone grip and just put it in my pocket. Look, just put it, put it in my pocket. And that's great, especially if you want to travel to places without carrying a big gimbal. Like you could just put it in your pocket or in your backpack, put the, uh, the phone grip on your phone and then it magnetically attaches to the gimbal just like that. Fold out the phone and it automatically turns on. Like that's that's quick. All right, let's give you a tour of the gimbal. So you have your controls right over here. You have a, a control joystick to, to move the gimbal up, down, left, right. You have this wheel, and if you swipe left or swipe right, that'll activate the different gimbal modes. You can go from auto to follow mode, to pan follow, to FPV mode, to lock mode, and to active plus mode. We'll get to that later. Also on the control wheel, you have your record button if it's connected to your phone via Bluetooth. On the right, you have your switch mode so that you can go from portrait mode to horizontal. And then if you want to go back to portrait mode, press it twice, it'll go back. So that's pretty cool. And then of course on the bottom is your power button to turn off the gimbal if you want to do so. Oh, and speaking of the control panel, uh, you can actually zoom with the Insta360 Flow. And the way to do that is to turn the wheel outside of the control pad. All right, so right now I'm just filming in my office and now I'm going to just zoom in. Look at that. That's cool. I mean, right now you're kind of seeing it switch to the different camera, so, you know, zooming out, zooming in isn't going to be smooth. Again, it's one of those features that I'm probably not going to use, but it's an option. What's also cool about the Insta360 Flow is that there's a built-in selfie stick. Look at that, selfie stick, very cool. You can adjust the angle of it to take selfies. And being that this gimbal is so small, the, the grip itself is, um, it's almost too small, and I have small baby hands. And so if you want, you can extend the grip of the gimbal by pulling the grip out from the bottom, just like so. Feels a lot better now. And also, there is a built-in tripod underneath the gimbal, and that way you don't have to buy a separate tripod for the gimbal so that's pretty cool and then to collapse all of it pretty easy just just collapse everything like so and now you're back to normal there's also an additional grip that you can attach to the handle of the gimbal uh, because it's made out of plastic it does feel like it's going to slip out of my hands and so adding that grip uh, is actually pretty nice because you know i'm pretty much accident prone here's a rubber grip just gonna place it just like that there you go i feel i feel so much more secure, look. Oh man, this grip is like really grippy. You hear the ducks laughing? They're like laughing at me. Look at this stupid human. Can't even put a grip on the gimbal, idiot. Now give me bread. Oh, that feels way better. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna keep the grip on because I don't wanna, I don't wanna let this gimbal slip. Shut up, duck. Uh, oh, I forgot to talk about the uh, the trigger button over here. All right, so there's a trigger button over here. If you press it once, that'll activate Deep Track 3.0, and that's a really cool feature because that will identify objects and people. And because it's AI based, it's deep learning. It'll recognize familiar faces. And so if I'm filming myself a lot, or Tyler over there, it'll recognize Tyler immediately after I filmed him once or twice. So that's kind of cool. Also kind of scary. And then you can also use the trigger mode to activate lock mode. You just press and hold to activate lock mode and to activate Active Plus, which which is, uh, which is like this fast movement of pan shots. You just press the trigger once and press it again to hold and that'll activate Active Plus. All right, I'm using auto mode right now. And that's actually my favorite mode on the gimbal because I don't have to worry about anything. It just does it for me, hence the name auto. Look how smooth that is. And I'm like just struggling to walk on grass going downhill. Oh, 
All right, let's talk price. Now you can get the gimbal by itself for 159 US dollars, or you can get the creator kit, which includes this magnetic light that you can attach to the gimbal. There's also a, a strap somewhere, which I think is kind of pointless. But if you want to get the creator kit, that's going to cost 209 US dollars. Honestly, I think just getting the gimbal by itself is totally fine. I mean, the light's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know how often I'd use it, but uh, oh, I should probably show you how it works. All right, let's go attach my phone. Then I'm going to attach the light onto one of the sides of the phone grip. It's like a little clamp to just pinch the clamp. Now it locks on this USB-C port underneath the handle to connect the light. There we go. Let's turn on the gimbal. Ooh, there we go. All right, so here is the light at the, the lowest brightness. I'm going to push the button on the right to increase the brightness. Okay. Cool. Make it brighter. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty bright. I mean, there's a diffusion, so it kind of softens up. Uh, the lighting a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and press the other button to change the color temperature. There you go, that's warm. That's more cool. And then finally, neutral and the light it came off. <laughs> not the easiest to uh, clamp on. I'll be honest, I, I'm not a big fan uh, of lights on gimbals, but you know, it's a good option for people that want it. What's cool about this gimbal is that you can charge it on the go. And so if you have like a small battery bank like this, this is the, uh, the anchor battery bank, you can just plug it in to the bottom of the gimbal, and uh, now it is charging. Is it charging? Yep, it is charging, so that's cool. But what's even cooler is that you can actually use this gimbal as a battery bank and charge your phone. Then get my iPhone, plug that bad boy in. I'm gonna use the top USB-C port uh, to charge my phone. Let's go plug it in. <laughs> and it's charging, look at that. It's, I don't know if you can see it, oh, you probably can't see it, but it's charging. That is so cool. All right, so final thoughts on the Insta360 Flow. I like it, it's cool. Uh, it's really lightweight. I like that you can just fold it, put it in your pocket, put it in your camera bag, really easy. Uh, I mean, the only thing <laughs> about a light gimbal is that if you use a heavy camera like the iPhone 14 Pro, it has a tendency to not be stable if you uh, put it on the ground with the tripod legs out. Oh my gosh, maybe my oh, oh, fudge. Overall, very easy to use. Although with the, with the control wheel, you know, swiping left and right to change different gimbal modes, uh, it was a little bit difficult to do. I wish it would have been maybe more sensitive to go to the other gimbal modes. I kind of had to figure out exactly where on the control wheel to, to swipe right and swipe left. And as far as the other shooting modes that you can do within the app and the gimbal, like the time shift or dolly zoom or slow motion, like all that's really cool. I don't know if I'd ever use it. I just want a gimbal that I can film smooth shots. That's all I want a gimbal to do. And again, I love the form factor of the Insta360 Flow. Like, I don't know how much better you can get uh, as far as like a small form factor gimbal, you know? But I do love that you can control your phone with the gimbal. You can use the gimbal to charge up devices like your phone. So that's pretty cool. You can also charge the gimbal on the go. I love the built-in selfie stick, the built-in tripod. That's like an all-in-one phone gimbal that a lot of people are going to love. And do you have to get a gimbal? No. Not at all. I think the stabilization on phones are, are pretty dang good. But then again, there is some sort of crop factor when you are using stabilization on phones. But for a physical gimbal, this is great. I love it. It's, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, I think it's definitely my favorite phone gimbal so far. And so good job, Insta360. Well, if you have any questions about the Insta360 flow, let me know in the comments below. Thank you, Insta360, for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.